Hi loves, how are you all doing? Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Medina Makena and my husband. I am Ali, of course the husband. To yes. The gorgeous Mama Inaya. Mama Inaya. Or, yes, Mama Inaya, Baba Inaya. Yes, welcome to my YouTube channel. For the new subscribers, Karibu Nisana, please make sure you subscribe. For the homies, thank you so much for being here. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you. Yeah, so today we are basically going to do... Uh, new assumptions about us yes because as content creators each and every day you know uh, because we are always on the online space people always come up with the different assumptions about us they always think things about us mm. and sometimes it's just okay to you know address them you know for the viewers because some assumptions mm. are really disappointing <laughs> to you know our subscribers and others I don't know. They just need to be addressed because they need to be addressed. Yes. Also, I don't want you to have the wrong ideas. Yes. Yeah. So what is the first assumption that you'd like to address? Let's start with the um, easy ones. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, um, people think that, people assume mm -hmm. that we have a lot of money. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I wish they knew. You, you people think you're <laughs> rich. Uh-huh. Or rich yeah. kids or cool kids. Yeah. Yes. Well, me, 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 I'm not rich. If you're rich, me, I'm not rich. Yeah, I'm not yet there. Yeah, I'm, not not. Yet, I'm not yet in a space where I can call myself rich. Mm -hmm. But I'm blessed. Yeah. Mm. What I can say is that uh, most people think that anyone who's a celebrity, anyone who's popular already has money. But ask yourself, like, where does this money come from? Exactly. Uh, look at our old videos. Look at our videos we did two three years ago you'll notice a difference you'll notice that of course these people looked different these people lived in a different house mm. you know and it just shows you that we are just normal people like you guys mm. and we grow each and every day and try as hard as we can to improve our lives yeah not that we come from rich families not come that we come from you know very wealthy backgrounds the truth is that we are not yet there and yeah. we're just working hard as hard as just you there. are working to achieve your dreams mm. you're also working hard too so that that being said yes uh, the reason actually i wanted to make sure people understand yes that um we are not yet there you know we get a lot of dms from people asking yes. for help you mm -hmm. know financial help mm -hmm. and Sometimes I just look at those DMs and I'm, and I'm like, God, you see, I, I need I need to be rich to be to to help, to, to these, help people. these people. I need yeah. to have enough to help these people because if I had enough na na bakisha something, mm -hmm. I'll be able to do more. Yeah. I try to share what I have mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. but you guys, it's not yet there for me, mm -hmm. you know, to lend that big help mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. But when I'm able to, you'll definitely, definitely know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, sometimes you see someone, you know, DMing uh, me, telling me that, you know, Ali, I've not paid my rent for three months. Mm. Each month I pay 15,000. I need 50K. You know, I need a job. I need like 80K for my school fees. I need like 150,000 for my university. And I'm like, look, I really would love to help you, but I'm not in that position. So for many people who look at us and think that, you know, these people have a lot of money, mm. We are, we are struggling to, we're not struggling, mm -hmm. but <laughs> we are trying so hard to make sure that our bills are paid. We have parents who, who look up to yes. us. We have siblings. We have many bills to pay. We are not yet there where we can say that we have a lot of money and we can help everyone who reaches out in our DMs. Mm. But for we, we do try to help some some uh, about Naweza, but sometimes you're not able to uh, you know sort those huge bills for some of our followers so when you see that we're not able to do that do not maybe think that we don't, it, want, to. We don't want to it's just that we are not able to i mean yeah. Yeah. I, hope, I hope that is i hope the point is home <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah uh one of the comments that i've seen recently after we did the uh, Inaya face reveal mm. was that these guys love showing off, you know. Yeah, but so, there is also something like yeah, that. Yeah, so many people normally think that whatever we are doing online is we are show offs. Mm. I don't know what you have to say about that. Well, 
I have never in fact I'm very I'm very cautious with what I I post. Mm-hmm. If you if you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice I don't post a lot of, you know, to come um, things like money, mm-hmm. things like food, things like any material things. I don't like even when I get you gift me a lot, mm-hmm. but I don't like posting like everything. Mm-hmm. I I have that I have that what is it? Like no go pay any post sana. Mm-hmm. Kama, I want to show off like you yes, know, yes. I'm living a good life. I'm living this kind of life. Mm-hmm. To pay don't to give unnecessary pressure to people. Yeah. So sometimes I think for me I, I show what's I should just show what needs to be shown. Yeah. And not for the purpose of show off, yes. but for inspiring mm-hmm. and to show other youngsters out there mm-hmm. that it is possible. Yes. It's possible if I can do it, you can do it too. Yeah. So I don't think, honestly, I don't. I don't think I show off. I don't think you show off. Yeah. Some sometimes we do things, we might do things unintentionally, and it it really depends with who's watching. Someone True. will will see it as an inspiration. Someone will see it as show off. So, mm. but for us, we really do not do anything for show off. We just, as we said, we are not yet there. So what what are we exactly showing off? Yeah. yeah like so, what's there to show? Yeah. <laughs> like I look at mm. our lives and I, I'm like. We are we are not even ten percent close to where we want to be. Yeah, so, to our goals. Yeah, so we are not. Why why would we even show off that? Mm. It's not something that we we would say that this is ultimately where we want to be in life. So yeah. we are not sure. Of. Yeah, because if we we look at um, like the things we did over the weekend, mm-hmm. like the gender reveal, mm-hmm. we're not doing the gender reveal to show First off. Reveal. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. The first we were not doing the first reveal mm-hmm. to show off that we can, you know, can afford expensive decor or mm-hmm. what what. We just wanted something memorable mm-hmm. and something that we can share with our family and friends. Yes. Like to celebrate, not to show off yes. and to share with our fans. That's why we went live. Eh? Yes, yes. So we wanted our baby's face reveal because she's dear to us mm-hmm. we want her to be memorable and sweet you know um, so when she grow up she'll watch this and she'll be like oh so my parent went went beyond mm-hmm. to show me out to the world like they were proud like we are mm-hmm. proud to have in yes. mm-hmm. like why not it was not a show off we just wanted to make sure she had the best yes yeah okay Another assumption. Another assumption that uh, we are looking at here is the proposal that we did. Hey, clout or not? <laughs> yeah, the proposal that we, I did. Uh, many people are saying that it was fake, and I was doing it for clout. I don't for know. For views. For views. What do you say? What do you think? I talked about it in, a, in an interview, but mm-hmm. I will also talk about it here. Mm-hmm. It's it's not for views. Our proposal was not for views. Mm-hmm. It was legit, mm-hmm. legit, legit. Like it was real. Like she didn't she didn't even know that we I was going to be even to propose. a clue. I didn't have it. Yeah. How many people knew you were going to propose? Even your family didn't know you were even going to propose. Even my family didn't because know. Because your sister came to... later and yeah. asked me, uh-huh. "Did you know he was going to propose?" And I was like, "No." So how many people knew you were going to propose? I mean, I think it's just the director, my Devi, mm-hmm. uh, we had Muna, and uh, the, the, Jazo, and Jazo, and and the crew that was shooting because they had to wait for that moment. They knew. They knew, yeah. Oh wow. Frank knew. Uh, Ricky knew. And Jay, if I'm not wrong, oh, and okay. also Solution. So okay. basically. Just the my male friends, yeah, my, my male friends and crew members. I think that those are the only people knew. Actually, mm. there's a day that mm. uh, Ricky Beko called me, mm. and he was like, "You, I was a loudspeaker." Mm. I, 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 no, no, no. Mm. You, you are in the bedroom, mm. and Zena was here, mm. and he was like, "Sasa, after your proposal, did you tafanya nina nini?" So I was like, "Shit, Zena, Zena meskia." But she so, didn't get it. So I don't know. Maybe she thought it's like the proposal. Maybe proposal. Yeah. yeah then you see one day because the clients yeah, and the everything. Yeah, clients. Maybe that's yeah, what she so thought. Yeah, so I thought maybe that's what she thought. But mm. in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm a mejua. Mm. But I never mentioned to him, to to her. So, and then 
ulikuwa loud speaker mm. so i was thinking maybe from the sitting room maybe we get scared so i was like ah i hope she doesn't if get that to was hear the case this. i would have not even understood but because if he said generally proposal it can be business proposal and then you know he was even saying sasa ukisha propose Ah. So, so, propose. <laughs> so we were talking about the proposal and I was like, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought maybe uh, Zena would understand, but mm. ho- I, hopefully she didn't. Mm. Ama if she did, she mm. was smart enough not to tell you. Mm. But I also thought she that you know. overheard it. So She did not know because she asked me later if I knew you were going to propose. So guys, the proposal was real. Me, I never knew he was going to propose. Like in my mind, at a, do you know? Like I never expected a proposal right now. I don't know why. It was out of my mind kabisa. There's a time we were talking about proposal when he was asking me if I would like to a proposal and all that. But I never thought you would propose right now because mm-hmm. hey. Then it was out of my mind kabisa. Mm. Mm. So that uh, brings us the next assumption. Yes, the next assumption. Guys. So for people who saw like Ali proposing, <coughs> they're like I Oh, you guys are a disgrace to the Muslim community. Mm. You guys should Mnazini. get uh, you, you, you got inaya before you got married. And that is the assumption that people have. Yeah, and it's it's going. It's going viral. <laughs> yes, it's going viral on TikTok. Many people are talking about it. But then, j- just tell them. You guys, we are married. Mm-hmm. We are married. I know you are confused. Like why he was proposing and you thought we were married. Mm-hmm doesn't mean that if someone is married can get proposed to again mm-hmm. even now he has proposed they can still propose again because it's still uh, making sure like mm. i want to spend you know the rest of our lives together mm-hmm. you know there's nothing wrong with proposing so many times mm. but anyway mm. we are married it's just that we got married Come. uh the with um in eyes up she just woke up Come here. Good morning, my love. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, mama. Hello. <laughs> no, we are using this to record. <laughs> yeah, so guys, as I was saying, mm-hmm. um, we got married, oh, uh, but we were we could not afford like a lavish wedding back yes. then. Yes. We could afford very you know private nika yes so we went to the marriage muslim marriage officer and we got married yeah. the only people who were present was our parents yeah so we did a nika our guardian so we did a very very private nika yes and we have those pictures and we will share them soon soon enough mm-hmm. not now soon mm-hmm. enough mm-hmm. so yes we are married tuliona na mkeka na ndoa ya mkeka yeah yes so um for what for the reason why i i propose is i know uh she's always had a dream yeah proposal <laughs> yaku 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 a big wedding yeah. and that's what I, i'm planning mm. for her right now and i mean if i'm planning it i have to ask i have to do it the the right way i have to do it the right way so yeah <laughs> that is that is that is it. that is just it for now uh, many people think that we are not married we got in yeah. before we got married so uh, we just wanted to debunk that myth myth and another one that maybe we we can talk about is um medina became a muslim because of me yeah hiyo nayo watu walikataa kutoa kwa akili yeah. i still get those comments yeah. especially for the people who hate me <laughs> mm-hmm. because those are haters because they comment comments is how they have always to involve you and me the mm-hmm. reason I, I became a muslim but i don't take it so hard mm-hmm. i i learned how to live with those comments mm-hmm. but you guys i will still clarify it right now mm-hmm. that assumption is wrong like i said when i decided to be to slim or to revert mm-hmm. ali was no in my life like we were very far apart mm-hmm. we were not even in talking mode mm-hmm. we were not friends I mean, uh-huh. so no i did not slim because of him because to catch and i know that means ni taacha kwa muislam what <laughs> she's playing with frank <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so no, I never did that for Zonia kuolewa na Aliama for being mm-hmm. together. I did it because I learned, I sat, I did my research, I learned and I observed and mm-hmm. I fell in love with the religion. Yes. So you have the wrong assumption. Yeah. I love being a Muslim woman. I love the the things that Islam teaches mm-hmm. and I just love it here. So mm-hmm. it's not for him, it's for me. It's for my own good. Yes. It's for my relationship with God. Yeah. Simple as that. What about fame? Uh, I got Sorry. married to you because of fame. Mm-hmm. When I knew you, you were not famous. Yes, that's something people do not know. Yeah, if mm. if if it's about fame, when I met Ali like seven years ago, he was not fame. Okay, he had fame kadogo, but he was not famous. By the time, by the time I'm falling in love, let me say this. She by the time I'm falling, I do not even know what he did for life. Like, for you know, I didn't know what he was doing to earn his income. Mm-hmm. I just fell in love with personality. Then later now I found out like he was a presenter at Y254. Mm. But then Gina Haiko Meshika. Mm-hmm. He was just ndio sasa ilikuwa naanza kujulikana kidogo. Yes. Yeah, so for the fame no. In fact if if given a chance like to be out of the limelight. Limelight, I would take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would I would take it. Yeah. So no. I did not marry this guy for the fame. Yeah, last assumption that we're going to talk about is oh, sorry, mama. Sorry, mommy. Um, many people think that our job is easy. Like for example, yesterday we met uh, a friend, and one of the things that she was saying is that your job is very easy. I wish I could. Uh-huh. Sorry, I wish I could. Why is she sneezing so much? She just woke up. I think her inner is allergic to morning cold. Yeah. Mm. So just like your sister. Yes, and mm. me. Mm. So she she thought that our job is quite easy. You only need to post <laughs> videos and you get money. I mean, it's not as easy as most people think. Yeah, it's quite hard, it's quite tough. Yeah, so that assumption is wrong. Yeah, our job is very okay, it's difficult. Yes. If you're in the in the um, online Inaya, Inaya. Where is my mic? Okay. Mm. If you are in the um, online space, Say you dada. create content, you know how difficult it can be. You know how hectic it can be to create content. Yes. Mm. Coming up with content, we create resources. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you run out of content. Sometimes it's even expensive to create yes, content it's and to it create does not content. even get you the money that you yes, invested. Yes, you will not get your money back. Yes. Na kuna kitu utafanya. Yeah, so I don't think our, I don't think our job is easy. It's just like any other job. Yeah. Mm. You just invest and wait for returns. Yeah. Sometimes they don't come. Mm, sometimes you For man, example, if I told you guys how much we invested to just go live. Yes. And the, the money the never event. came back. Mm. But it's life. Yes. You just have to know like sometimes you'll invest, mm. money will come back, sometimes mm. it won't. Mm. It's just life. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so guys, thank you so much guys for watching this video. Yes. I believe we are done. Uh, we are trying so hard guys to be uh more equal, consistent, consistent on Medina's channel. And you guys, you we are you're giving us positive feedback on Inaya and we thank you so much for and that. we love you. Yeah. And you're saying she's the cutest, cutest baby online. Well, it's true, but the other cute babies. <laughs> yes. So thank you so much, guys. So for thank the you love. so much. And the support do pray for us mm. every time. You yeah. pray for yourselves. We love you so much. Yeah. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Mm. Bye bye. Say bye bye. 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 <laughs> bye. 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 And I just want to say bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Say no. See you guys in the next video. Ah, uh, see you guys. See you. See you. See you. See you.